Rick Bird, Belmont University. Give me your general thoughts about this evening. We've got a lot of experience, got a lot of guys coming back. Um, I think that's a plus. I don't know how much of a plus it is. Um, we've got areas that we need to improve on from the past season. We've got to get better defensively. We've got to rebound the basketball better. Uh, hopefully we'll keep scoring it at a good clip. But uh, um, I like our team. Our, our preseason schedule is very difficult. Uh, and uh, I don't know what our record will be getting to the to the conference season, but I think we'll be a better team because of that schedule when we get there. What do you like most about your team? I like our players. I like the kind of people they are. I like the unselfishness on our team. Uh, I like the uh, dedication they have to, to making our team better and getting better individually. I like, they, I like the way they represent Belmont University uh, on the floor and off the floor in so many ways. Give me the biggest challenges you think they will face. I think, um, uh, I think when you're a team that has uh, been fortunate enough to have success, um, and, and I guess we're preseason pick to win the regular season and the tournament, um, I think, I think you, you go into almost every game, every OVC game, with, with somewhat of a target on your back. We're not the only people that have ever been there. Murray State still has that about their program for sure. Uh, but what we try to do is kind of turn that around a little bit and say we're getting everybody's best and that's going to make us better. Uh, but I, I do think we get almost every game, conference-wise, we, we get other people's best. And uh, that makes our schedule a little tougher than some other people's schedule. How do you think the OVC competition level is? I guess it depends on what the, what the frame of reference is. I, I don't know where we fit in nationally as a league. I think, I, think our, I think our league is getting better from the bottom up. I think the teams that uh, have, have not been so good uh, past several years, Tennessee State's a great example from three or four years ago how we would look at that game versus how good that program is right now, uh, how well coached they are, how their players play hard. Uh, Moorhead State's gotten better every single year. Steve Payne's Tennessee Tech program's gotten better. Uh, got new coaches at other spots that are going to make those programs better. So I don't know where – I don't think our team the last couple of years has been as good as some of our previous teams. And, and Murray State might say the same thing about last year. They, they want to get back to where they've been. So I don't know about the top of the league, but I think uh, I think it's way, way better from the bottom up. Last season there were a couple of rule changes, including switching to the 30-second 30, 30 shot clock. How do you think that impacted the game? I, I still think that the switch to 30 seconds had very little impact on the game. I think far and away the greater impact was the emphasis on calling fouls that are fouls and trying to get get the total physical nature of our game and go back to the way the game was supposed to be played. I thought, I thought officials and coaches and players adjusted to that really well. And, uh, and, and I like the, the advancement into this season on the emphasis on, on cleaning up some inside play and rebounding, and things like that. You have some very experienced uh, returners this season. Um, can you tell me a little bit about Evan Brads and uh, the OVC preseason player of the year? And uh, what type of impact <clears throat> will he have on the squad? Well, I, I, I mean, his impact as a player and his talent and what he does for us. I mean, we, we're going to run the offense around him. People are going to stop him first. And so he has great impact on the floor. But I think he has a tremendous impact as a leader. He's a senior. He's been through it. He's, he is a different person in that regard. He knows that he's assumed that, that mantle of leadership that is so important for a team. I think he'll be a better all-around player. I think he's stronger and in better condition than he's been. So I think his rebounding, his defense, and some of the areas outside of his offensive ability will be much improved. Tell me about the toughness of your non-conference schedule. Well, I guess I guess every year I'm I'm looking at it as it's the toughest we've ever had. It seems like, and and certainly when I look at our for our start, I, I wonder where any wins are going to come from. They're very very good teams. A lot of them on the road, um, 
when you're playing Florida and Vanderbilt and Rhode Island, who's picked in the top 20 in some preseason polls uh, in your first several games, you, it's, uh, it's a tough start. Uh, but but we got to focus not necessarily on what the record is, but how we're performing and how much better it's making us to play people like that.